How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you the best way to complete the new Easter Evasion event on the spawnables right here. So basically the new event dropped and what you have to do is you have to destroy eggs. As you can see it says, it's going to say here actually. Defeat the enemies to reveal the robot egg, destroy them for points. So you kill someone, the egg drops and then it runs around because it's a robot egg. It runs around and you have to kill it for points, you have to kill the robot egg. Once it runs, the other explodes and, and the last is so rare, you may not even see it. So basically, there are three kinds. There are the normal ones, the rare ones, and the legendary ones. The golden ones, as they're called. And basically, these are the, they give you the times 5 points, some 2 points, some 10 points. Alright? I have the warrior bunny mask, which is the first one, which gives times 5 points. But the other times 10 points is better. And this is obviously the last event prize, which I think is a crossbow. I don't know what it is, but we'll, we'll see about it. So basically, to do this event, the best way to do this event, actually, I'm going to show you it right now. Use a warrior bunny mask, all right? Because I'm, I'm using it right now because I have times 5 points. But if you have a one that's times 10, it's even better. If, if you have one that's times 10 points. Then, I would use a medic jacket. Or I would use, because it gives you 30% reduction against everything, basically. Or the Aztec necklace, if in your lobby they're using a lot of poison and fire weapons. And also the zombie biker pants. Or if you're using a shotgun, the poison hunter pants. Or the speed increase. Any of those. And for the weapons. So the weapons is basically tricky because many people use the fire spitter, many people use the fire spatter, the post heavy. I would recommend using launchers because the post heavy isn't that accurate. So basically, the best one I would recommend is, the best ones actually, because there's not a single one. Energy Stinger, Rocket Guitar Case, so both of these two launchers, The Little Friend, and also the Mechanical Claw Thrower is really, really good. I know it's not a launcher, but it's really, really good. If you have Glass Cannon with this, because many people have enough from the April Fools that they gave you 15 free respawn nights. If you have glass cannon, they're really, really good. The weapon, the mechanical, is really, really good. And all those weapons become really, really good. So yeah, these are the best weapons to complete the event. Energy Stinger, Rocket the Guitar Case, The Little Friend, which is the trumpet gun, and also the mechanical claw, right here. You can also use the Fire Spitter or Fire Spatter, which are pretty good, but I wouldn't recommend you guys using the Post Heavy. I personally use the mechanical claw because it's really, really good. So yeah. I'm gonna go into multiplayer and show you guys how you play this event and like how the tr tricks to complete it in game. So yeah, catch you guys there. All right, so I just joined a random lobby and I'm not gonna be playing serious. I'm gonna be talking while I'm playing. I just wanna show you guys how this event all works. So basically, we go here. I know I see basically a lot, like many people tell me. Yeah, so basically I killed him and you see the robot I just dropped and it was a golden egg and my grenade actually killed it. So I got 500 points. Because it's 100 points, but I get times 5 multiplier. So basically, you see, and I destroyed the egg with the mechanical claw. Again. Again, the eggs drop. Like, it's really easy to destroy the eggs. If you have good aim. If you have the rockets, the launchers, you don't need to have good aim. But if you're using the mechanical claw, you need good aim to destroy the eggs. Yeah, so basically, you see, I destroyed the egg right here. And, and you get the points. And after this game, I'm going to be showing you guys the points for Shy 1. So basically every every tier every tier and try one and the rewards and everything. I'm gonna be doing a deep deep uh, review on the on the trials, like if it's worth it or not. So now I'm just dying again from nonsense. But but basically you get the idea how this works. Like if you play this, so you you need to have good aim if you're not using a launcher weapon. But if you're using a launcher weapon, you don't really need good aim. But they don't always drop. They don't always drop. That's the thing. You see, like, I've killed two people now, it hasn't dropped. Okay, now it dropped. And you see, I killed it. So basically, yeah, there was a common one, so I got 50 points. This is basically 10 points is a common one. Let's see, 10 points, I think it's 5th and 50. Yeah, 50 points, yeah, it's 10 points for the common, if you're not using anything, if you don't have any multiplier, it's 10 points for the common one, two, 50 points for the rare, and 100 for the legendary, for the golden. That's how it is. But if you're using the times 5 as I have or times 10, it's way easier. And this event is really, really hard to be honest, guys. Dude, Jesus, like, you joined like 3 minutes in the game and it's just like, what's going on, bro? 
And we're second. How are we even second? Like, we joined so late in the game. Like, what? We're about to get first and we're not even playing seriously. What's going on? That dude is just really funny, though. Isn't it, guys? I'm just trying to get the medals just so I get first. <laughs> this is funny. So you basically get a gist of how you played. Now, you see, again, I destroyed I destroyed the egg. The 250. Just by just by my grenades always destroyed it. So like, if you die and your grenade destroys it, you're even more lucky after. You really like if that happens. And that happens many times. Like, I kill someone, he kills me. That happens a lot with me. And basically, the, my grenade destroys egg. But you have to be careful because sometimes his grenade destroys egg. 17 kills, 10 deaths, first in the game. And it was not that even bad. It was not that new lobby. It was like a decent lobby. Like, they had like one, two, three, four, like ma three max prestige people and like two noobs or something. I don't even know. I don't even know how I got first place. I joined one minute late. I don't know. But that is, you get the, the gist of it, guys. So let me show you the prices now. So tier one, it's this event like kind of mixed. It's like kind of mixed uh, in feelings about this event. Because like if you see tier one, Get points by defeating the robo eggs, it says. Easter grenade, eliminate el eliminate enemies with this grenade to increase the drop rate of Easter eggs by 50%. 10 grenades of these. So basically, who who really uses grenades in this game anymore? Like, no one. Tier 2. So basically, wait, I, but there, there, this, very, this I think is like a thousand points or something. This is very little points at the start, right? Uh, it all starts to become, to become like really bad from tier 5. I'm going to explain what I mean. So tier two is five super easter grenades, and they and they eliminate enemies with a grenade to increase the drop rate of a hundred percent for me. Who who really cares? Who really uses this? Tier three is another fifteen easter grenades. Tier four it starts from here actually. It's five thousand points. If you don't have any mask, so basically if you don't have an any times multiplier, it's really hard to even get five thousand points. But if you have the times two, you can get five thousand points easily. Not easily, but it takes some time. If you have the times five, you can get it easily. Times ten, really easily. So yeah, I would really recommend just you guys to have a mark, to get to get like at least the warrior bunny that I showed you in my other video, which costs one euro. At least have that mask. At least have that mask because you, you get times five, and it was really good for one euro. So basically, tier four is five thousand points. Tier five, it's ten thousand points, I think. And you get this one, which gives you times two. So basically, if you don't have any mask, you will get it in tier five times two, which is really hard to get at 10,000 points if you don't really have any mask. But yeah, you will get the times two eventually. Tier six is 20,000 points, which took me so long. Like, you don't understand, guys. 20,000 points. And I have the times five multiplier. It took me so many games to do. And every lobby is tryharding so much. And just so hard to complete this. And then tier 7, it's 50,000. Like, you guys don't understand how long it took me to do the 20,000. 50,000 is even more harder. And also, and also like double, more, it's more than double the tier 6, which took me so long. And also, the problem with this is this. I, I am using the times 5 mask, and it took me so long. Just imagine, guys, 50,000 without any mask doing it. Or doing it with the times 2 mask. So basically, I just need the times 10 mask. Otherwise, I, I cannot do anything. Like, I cannot do this event. Like, you need to have the times 10 mask to complete this event if you want to complete it fast. Or the times 5 mask if you want really to complete this. Actually, with the times 10 mask, it takes so much time. And the thing is, everyone is tryharding in the lobbies, as I said before. But also, it's really boring just to kill people and kill the eggs. It's just not fun. Like, you get bored of it. It's, it's not like an interesting event. You understand what I'm saying? It's not like to get most kills. It's not. It's not like the summer camp where you had to get double kills or something. It's like interesting. Just kill people and then you just just spam with the grenades, the eggs, or with a or with a mechanical claw as I'm using. So yeah, it's not really that that interesting. And then also then tier eight, which is the doctor dark doctor handgun, which on my next video I'm gonna be reviewing this and telling you if it's good or not because I already have it. So basically, I'm just doing this event for fun because I already have the last weapon, so I don't even need to do it. I'm just doing it for fun, just to get the grenades and just for the memes. You know what I'm saying, guys? I'm not. I'm not doing it. For, I'm not doing it seriously. That's why I'm gonna complete it on my live stream, which I'm gonna. I don't know when I'm gonna live stream, but I am gonna live stream. But I'm doing it um, probably like in one or two, three days. Around there, I'm gonna live stream. I'm not sure. I might live stream tomorrow, but I, I'm. I wanna start doing uh, even more live streams because I was already doing a lot 
before. I was like live streaming so much before, but I want to start doing even more live streams. So yeah, to get this, it's a hundred thousand points. The Dark Doctor handgun. I'm gonna review this in my next video and tell you if it's worth it or not. But the hundred thousand points, because like I need to make a video if it's worth it. Because like if if people don't know if it's good or not, how they're gonna how are they gonna grind to a hundred thousand points and if it's a bad weapon? But yeah, I'm I'm gonna tell you right now it's like an average weapon. I'm gonna review it next video, as I said. And a hundred thousand points, I think, is crazy from Digital Legends. If you don't have any masks, you, it's impossible. Any multipliers, it's impossible like to do it. It's really really impossible. If you have the times two, it's again impossible. Times five, it's gonna take you like. It's gonna take you like ages. Times ten is gonna take you again ages. So basically, any mask that you have, this is gonna take so long to complete. I don't know why Digital Legends is doing this. If the, if it was a fun event, I wouldn't mind playing it. But like this is just very very boring. I don't know why they're doing this, but okay, I, I am gonna. I already have it, so I'm skipping this. But I am gonna complete this event. I'm gonna complete tier seven of my live stream, as I said, because why not for fun? But yeah, that was it for this video. I hope it has helped you out and give you a better idea on the Easter eva invasion event. So yeah, catch you guys on the next video. I hope I really help you out also with the weapons that you should use. And really, I just like you helping you out, guys, so you complete the event faster. Because like, I, cause like I, when I first played this event, I didn't really know which weapon to use. And the, the, I was live streaming it. And people were telling me in my chat what weapons to use and all that. And basically, many people don't have the people that tell them what weapons to use, like random people. So yeah, I, I'm gonna make a video about it, so everyone in the community that watches my channel, at least, everyone that watches my channel, sees the best way to complete the event, and not, like, really struggle with it, because it's a really, really hard event. People say it's a hard event, but like, actually it's not hard, it's a really long event. So yeah, catch you guys on my next video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, thanks for watching, peace.